Uh, my name is Armin Hendricks. Um, I have a 2006 Mazda Miata. It has a whole lot of upgrades, uh, part modifications to it. Uh, I bought it a little over two years ago. No, I bought it about three years ago. Shit, I don't even know when I bought this thing. <laughs> I, I drive a 2006 Mazda Miata. That's I bought it in very bad condition about three years ago. Um, for a really good price, it needed a, a new motor. The transmission was a little uh, bad, to say the least. And there were a lot of other bad things about it. But essentially what it's turned into now is I have replaced every single thing on this car short of the frame. Uh, it's gotten repainted with this beautiful pearl paint job on brand new clear coat of course. It's got a bigger stickier tires on some bigger wheels. It has an RX-8 brake kit. Um, it now runs a, a Ford Duratech 2.5 liter with a turbo system in the back to replace the muffler. She's a, she's a little bit loud to say the least. As far as the noise, um, I love the noise. It's really noisy. It scares the hell out of my passengers, that's for sure. Um, it has a, a a full flying Miata suspension, PPE long tube header that's wrapped, and a, a whole bunch of other nonsense. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing a million things, but suffice it to say, there's plenty done to it. And then there's some stuff undone to it, like there's no interior. Uh, there's a dashboard. That's about it. You can see clear into the trunk. I like it. I was like, you know, one day I'd like to do real car stuff, because real cars always intrigued me. Uh, they're artistic on the outside, and then the design is just a uh, a work of art in itself as well as a, a mechanical masterpiece. Um, so as I moved through life I, I came into the opportunity to start working on my own vehicles after I got into the working field. I did a degree in mechanical engineering because it just seemed like the right path. I was always fixing stuff, taking stuff apart, and building stuff. I mean building, fixing, whatever, uh, and I, I always was really fascinated with cars. Now, after I graduated, I moved here to Houston, and uh, the opportunity presented itself for me to become a car person. So, I've always been kind of a hands-on person. I like to know how things work. I mean, everything about this car is just car guy. Who doesn't love to step on the gas and just hear their turbo screaming in their ear the whole time they're driving? Uh, I will admit, we took a trip to San Antonio with it. At the end of the trip, my ears were ringing a little bit, but um, I was, smiling for you to hear the whole time. What was your earliest memory of like race car shit that really got you into what you are now since the Miata is a race car primarily? Racing video games. Racing video games used to be life. Racing video games just captivated me. I felt like it was really cool you could get to simulate what seemed like reality. I always struggled with video games that lacked re real physics and racing video games just I grabbed into them and I was like, wow, this is awesome. You know, I can understand uh, how things work. You know, I still play the racing video games, but now I have a, a racing simulator with a seat, a shifter, a steering wheel, a big home theater system. It's, you know, crazy realistic physics. Uh, and it's just, I still get a rush out of that, but then it was just like, I don't do it with real cars. That'd be cool. So now I did. You know, I found out about these groups that race real cars legally, uh, very cheap entry, you know, SCCA autocross, and I just go out there and have a blast, a, a lot of positive people, um, very good support group, and they're just, they want to see each other succeed and get better at driving. They want to help you with your car. I don't think anything was ever planned with modifying my car other than just making it work. Um, you know, I, initially when I got it, I said, okay, 
Maybe we should do a 2.5 liter swap, that'd be cool. I didn't intend on putting a turbo on a 2.5 liter, nor out of order. Uh, the turbo kit came up for sale, I ended up falling into it. Uh, it was for dirt cheap and I said, I mean, I'll take that, that sounds awesome. And then, uh, like I said, I blew the motor up, so I said, okay, well, I guess this is the opportunity to put a bigger motor, so here we are. Uh, I don't know, I attach to my cars and uh, I make them my own. As far as anyone's concerned, it's not like a track-ready Miata where they'll say, oh, I'll pay 50 grand for this, or, oh, it's a showpiece. No, it's not, it's not any of those things. It's my amalgamation of track readiness, drivability, and, you know, street legality, um, if you will. to stare at the camera. You can look wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I just know those other guys are all like, like stare <laughs> off in the distance and stuff like, yeah, you know, totally. 